Welcome to the tutorial, surprise with your own Valentine's card. With Collage 3 you can create your personal greeting card in just a few steps. First start Collage 3, because we want to have DINA5 as our format. Move your mouse cursor to the toolbar and click on the icon, change the size of your collage, and choose the menu item, Custom Size. In the dialog, Collage Size open the list defaults and choose DIN formats. Now open the list size and select DINA5. Finally, click OK. Now we change the background to a color gradient. For this move your mouse cursor to the toolbar and click on the icon, Collage Properties. We want a gradient from white to light red, so we click on the button, Gradient and Color. Click on red in the color chooser. And select a lighter red. We can also enter a color directly using the HTML color code. To finish this step, close the Color and the Collage Properties dialog. Now we add the content. For this move your mouse cursor to the toolbar and click on the icon, Clip Art Browser and select the category, Valentine's Day. There we find content that are ideal for our project. First we like some hearts as additional background, so select the thumb in the browser. Drag it over the canvas and place it somewhere. We also need the big heart as main part of our card, so we add it the same way. Close the browser. And select the hearts item. Now move the hearts item to the top left and resize it, so that it occupy the whole canvas. Then select the big heart item, move it to a place you like. And make it bigger. Afterwards rotate the heart a little bit by holding the right mouse button down. Additionally we add a shadow effect to our heart. For this select the Effects tab. For our example we need three hearts. This can be easily done by copy and paste. Use the keyboard shortcut Command C and Command P to create the second heart. Next, resize the heart. Rotate it. And move the item to the right place. Do the same to create and scale the third heart. Tip. If you would like to restore the original rotate angle and perspective, open the contextual menu and choose Reset Orientation. Now arrange the hearts the way you want. Now we insert some text. For this move your mouse cursor to the toolbar and click on the icon, Add Text. Move the text item over the first heart. Double click on the text and enter the word thinking. 
Now let's change the color and the font of the text item. For this, switch to the General tab. Select the text item again, and change the font by selecting a nice font from the name list. For example, choose Script Round Hand. Then adjust the color and select white. Close the color window and make the font a little bit smaller. Now rotate the text. And move it to the right position. To create the next word, duplicate the item thinking simplest by copy and paste. Double click on the new item. And enter the word of. Next place the new text over the second heart. And rotate it a little bit. After that we paste the previously copied text item again, and change it to the word new. Finally, we just need to move. And rotate the item a bit. And we did it so far. As a last step we add some extra decoration to make our work even nicer. So open the clip art browser again. And drop two further items onto the canvas. Now move, scale and rotate the new items the way you want. Of course, you can also insert your own images and photos. This is the ultimate way to surprise your family and friends. To add your own pictures, move your mouse cursor to the toolbar and click on the icon, Add Picture. In the Open Window, browse to your favorite pictures, select one or more. And click on Open. After the pictures are inserted and if it is necessary remove the frame. Then resize and move the items. If you would like, you also can duplicate an item. Last but not least share your masterpiece or email it directly.